And welcome to Helena. And we're about 75 feet above uh, this valley. Uh, we're on top of the original ridge system um, that you can see I'm standing on right here that uh, Generals uh, McRae and Parsons came down on the morning of July 4th, 1863, as they were um, about to attack Helena. The Federals had been occupied um, in the city, uh, occupied Helena since uh, the summer of 1862, so they had a lot of time to get the uh, hilltop batteries fortified. So the, uh, the old roadbed that we're on right now is the roadbed that the Confederate Army is going to push in on uh, on May 25th um, for the 150th anniversary battle of Helena. And as you walk along with me, you'll see this uh, this old roadbed right about here is where they were taking some pretty heavy uh, artillery hits by the USS Tyler that was way out on the uh, Mississippi River. And if you scan through here, you'll see the uh, uh, the trail that the uh, Confederate Army is going to be marching in in a column of twos during the reenactment here. Also, in this immediate vicinity, you had rifle pits that the Federals had dug in uh, to the side of Battery C. As the uh, Confederate Army made their way um, to Helena that morning, they had a lot more than this to overcome. This roadbed was full of really high timber that the Yankees had failed to uh, prevent any Confederate attempt to bring their artillery in. So the only cannons that they might have access to are the ones on top of the hill up here on the historic Battery C. So as the armies are going to march along on uh, May 25th, 2013 for our 150th anniversary, battle. As you can see, there's plenty of area around here for uh, skirmishing, uh, uh, federal pickets, and a lot of other obstacles the uh, Confederate Army will have to go through to reach the battery. <coughs> now this part of the battle is more for the reenactors and we're a good, oh, half mile, quarter mile to half mile from, from the fort right now. So where we are right now uh, during the battle, this should be raging about uh, 1130 or so. So as the armies keep pushing forward, the gunshots will get louder, obviously. Um, to the spectators near the fort. And where we are right now is where the uh, federal artillery will start opening up their, uh, their battery onto this position. Now this is the final stretch of road here as we uh, near the Confederate uh, fortified, or the Yankee fortified uh, hilltop forts so there'll be a lot of a lot of skirmishing right here uh, historic battery C is just right through here so not far at all again you'll have uh, breastworks uh, a lot of obstacles for the Confederates to overcome during the reenactment And again, to the spectators, um, you'll hear this uh, far off explosions, and that's what's going on about uh, 1130. Right about here is where the Confederate colors will be unfurled. And as you can see right dead ahead of me, 
you're going to have two uh, federal pieces aimed right at us from right here. The Confederate Army will continue their charge on the exact same ground that the Confederates made that charge on July 4th of 1863. You can see how far we are up. The uh, treetops are level with us. This is one of the uh, ravines that Fagan talked about quite a bit in the official records uh, just right after this battle. So as we continue closer to, um, to the hilltop up here, obviously the fighting is going to become a little more desperate. And here we are on the historical Battery C. And right above this hill here, uh, you'll have a final stand. And uh, right over here, there's a road right this side of that uh, blue water tank there. After a, uh, a skirmish on top of the hill, the, the Yankees will retreat right around that. And... Uh, and back up down by the fort. So I hope this has come together for you. Um, as we keep working on the battle scenario, we'll keep you updated right here on ArkansasToothpick.com.